Like a knockdown. That right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand. And Shirley's going to himself about what he's been through in an unbelievable fight. That was that uppercut jab right up under the left jab, which is why he abandoned the jab. He wanted Kirkland to throw those type punches so that he could counter. Once again, Kirkland threw that left hand, and then well, it was the left hand, he stuck it out like a jab, and then he countered it with the uppercut, which is why you don't stick late lagging punches out like that. You give a guy something to. Oh boy, Baldinger might be ready to go. He might, and he's gone. Canelo knocks out. Case with the old bull, young bull. But right here we see Canelo. Big right hand right there. That's what set up the big left hook afterwards. But he's been setting up that left hook the entire fight. And there it is right there. A check left hook. Baldemir was out any time a fighter falls face first like that. Where his head hits the canvas. The referee has no choice but to stop it immediately. Oh, oh and there it is. A third time. Will he normally doesn't get up. Boom! Right there, those shots. I tell you, Todd, you do not forget about that pain. Tricky style. Oh! Oh! Play here. Paint right over the top, right hand. Kind of faked him with the jab. Maybe in the first five rounds. He was making Amir Khan think that he was trying to load up with his left. Maybe he was looking for that right hand shot the whole time. Boom! Big right hand, literally knocking the snot out of poor Amir Khan. His legs come out from under him. He hit the canvas. Dañado ya el rostro de Camechis, del griego de oro, que recibe esa mano izquierda. a la hora de tirar golpes, piensa las cosas mantiene un buen ritmo de trabajo eh, no apresurado sabe los tiempos para meter los golpes, usa, usa el boxeo con inteligencia como le, como le vaya saliendo las cosas y eso va a ser muy bien en Estados Unidos le va a ir bien, le decíamos todo lo mejor y sin lugar a dudas es una, una gran promesa del boxeo mexicano When he does land a punch and bother Alvarez yeah, like he did, tired. Like Good this. combination by Alvarez because of the way Citron was reacting to it. Roy, how does Canelo hide that right hand? Why is he able to land it like that? Well, he's hiding it behind his left hook. He's throwing a left hook and turning his shoulder very high so you can't see the right hand coming. But for some reason, Citron couldn't have seen it coming tonight anyway. He just wasn't ready to defend it over the top of his jab. See right there, he tried to turn, but he turned too late. And just time and time again. Yeah, there's not much he can do. That was a head shot. Down no he goes shot. to the body and that should do it. It's over. That is it. Yeah, there's not much he can do. That was a headshot. Down oh, he goes to the body and that should do it. It's over. That is it. Some stage, he's got a hole. Oh, that's a big shot. That hurt him. He may have him in trouble. That's three unanswered punches. Four, five, six, he seven. Can end it. It's all over. As the that's referee the was stepping in, Dave, he was landing his 13th unanswered punch. But they're two very heavy, three very heavy right hands. Most important thing is you watch this as far as the referee tools. No standing eight count. If there is, that's Gloves down. Daring a little to come and try to knock him out. That's a real big power index. Gloves down. Daring a little to come and try to knock him out. That's a real big power index. Alvarez landing that pulverizing right hand and ripping hooks. That one missed, but clearly he had Lopez against the ropes and in some trouble. Remember, Lopez had been down three straight rounds, so it, it stopped it. Yeah, there's there, there's context to this. Although Lopez had had very good moments in this round, he did. He did. He was he was fighting the whole. He wants to close the show in his hometown. Rhodes gets rocked. Yeah, he can see Alvarez on attack with one, two, double hook, hook to the body, double right hand to the head. I mean, you can't ask for much better than that. 
Another one, two, three, four, five punch combination. The referee had to come in. A six punch was on the way. It was the towel. Oh, Jose Miguel Cotto to take. Cotto's got to start punching back. Otherwise, this fight will be He's throwing stopped. back, but without any velocity. Alvarez is teeing off, and Tony Weeks is going to stop it right there. Oh, Jose Miguel Cotto to take. Cotto's got to start punching back. Otherwise, this fight will be He's throwing stopped. back, but without any velocity. Alvarez is teeing off. And Tony Wicks is going to stop it right there. Good movement, good movement of the cintura del Mexicano. And he came back with the right hand. Oh, the right hand, terrible. No va más. We knew who he was. There was the right hand. Observe. He prepares. Bajo the right hand, right hand, right hand. These are the images of the previous ones. Se va llegando, se va llegando. Herrera comenzaba a probarlo. Va de atrás. Poco recorrido. ¡Pum! Mandíbula. Va a sacarlo. En forma de Oper. Una toma Mauricio Medina Rodríguez en el timón de la producción. Víctor de la Vega. Y ahí, ahí señor. Lo conectó en el botón, en el centro de la picada, y aquí vemos sentado todavía en la lona, no se recupera el ruso Cusset, mostrando esta capacidad de golpeo, la velocidad. A la derecha, en la frente de este hombre que está aturdido y que regrese, que baja los guantes. Ya iba prácticamente cayendo, y sin embargo el referee... No interviene. Le hubiera ahorrado el último golpe del Canelo, que fue realmente letal. Estaba indefenso, inerme ya, ante el castigo del campeón mexicano. Con todo el vuelo del brazo, demostrando el gran poder de puños el Canelo. Este fue el último golpe. Se le doblaron las piernas a Michel Rosales. Y lo sabe el Canelo, que va hacia el frente, disparando a la derecha recta, intentando castigar con el gancho, y avientan desde su esquina la toalla de salvación. Se le doblaron las piernas a Michel Rosales, y lo sabe el Canelo, que va hacia el frente, disparando a la derecha recta, intentando castigar con el gancho, y avientan desde su esquina... La toalla de salvación. Arma, vaya combinación excepcional. La mano izquierda en forma de gancho. Vuelve a la derecha de la derecha. 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 Estaba noqueado de pie, me parece, Antonio. Óigame, se le fueron las piernas a Pinzón. No hay piernas. Se lanza con todo el canelo. Buen derechazo, está lastimado Pinzón. Cae a la lona otra vez. Y ahora sí. Completo este joven. Tapatío, ahí vemos la derecha. Le da en la frente. Ahí ya tenía lastimado a Pinzón. Cae a la lona. Ese fue el primer knockdown. Pero vean cómo supo aprovechar rápidamente. Cuando él vio que tenía problemas, ven con la izquierda. Ahí metió un ma dos manos adicionales con la izquierda para liquidar el pleito. Ahí está. Ese es la, el primer knockdown desde otro ángulo. Piensa. Mira, mama, pero dice mama, aquí está presente y el canelo lo castiga. Pero no le es suficiente. ¡Qué golpe! A veces que ya está acabando con Paco Villanueva. Lo acaba de conectar. Y tiene que entrar en el sábado, si lo dice. Mira, mama, pero dice mama, aquí está presente. Y el canelo lo castiga, pero no lo es suficiente. ¡Qué golpe! Parece que ya está acabando con Paco Villanueva. Lo acaba de conectar. Usted no está entrando en tercera, si lo dice. They go right at each other, and here's some good work by Alvarez. Three nice right hands and an uppercut. Some of Alvarez's better work in the fight. And he stunned Gonzalez. Gonzalez hurt for the first time in the fight, and there it is. It's all. Backing up, he lands some good shots. Then he digs in, 
lands some good shots here. Gonzalez is cornered and vulnerable for the first time in the fight. Left hand gets in, right hand gets in. Gonzalez, at this point, gassed Alvarez with piston-like efficiency, speedy hands, and Vic Draculich. Se fue a la lona, se le fue el aire, y aquí vemos la repetición. Vamos a ver la repetición de lo que fue este asalto. Ya estaba muy lastimado este peleador argentino, no aguantó el poder. A Rafael Romero por decisión dividida en ocho asaltos en Santo Domingo. Eso fue allá, sí, en Santo Domingo. ¡Uy! Se retiró del boxeo, vamos a ver la repetición. ¡Uy! Al hígado. No, papi, no. No, 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 ahí fulminas a cualquiera. ¡Uf! Uh, perfecto. Ese golpe fulmina a cualquiera. Sí, sí. Y después lo remató con la derecha por el que lo...